Hey guys, how you doing? I just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about throttle position sensors. A lot of these newer style sleds here, they have throttle position sensors on the carburetors and uh, they can cause some problems. When they put them in at the factory, uh, there's a certain value that they go by. Uh, not always a correct value or close enough counts value for them. Uh, we like to be a little bit uh, more spot on. So anyways, uh, I'm going to make a little video here showing you how to actually set it and some of the tools you're going to need. Here we go. Alright, on my cart we're going to need some tools. You need zip ties, a nice little multimeter, uh, some jump wires, some snips. Uh, you're going to need some of these anti-tamper bits. You know, there are torques and they have the, the heads drilled out. Uh, and then you're going to need something like this. This little box here, you can buy it on the Polaris website. Uh, it's a power supply. It, it helps you uh, measure your voltage. You can buy it on their website for about $145. Or you can actually make one uh, from Radio Shack for about $15, $20. I'll post that on another thread. Uh, very simple unit. Uh, it converts from 9 volt battery down to 5 volts, 4.9 to 5 volts. Uh, okay, and I'll show you here on the slide. I already uh, unplugged the throttle position sensor, but uh, a, lot, a lot of you guys know that on the carburetors here, you can see right down here, we have a throttle position sensor, and then there's two screws on the side that are tamper-proof screws. So that's why you need those sockets. Uh, when you look at the wires for the actual connector you're going to see uh, a black wire which is a ground, a pink wire at the top which is your power in which would be a 4.9 or 5 volt going in and then the yellow which would be going out to your ignition box. Uh, now a couple of things that you're going to have to do for this is on your throttle you're going to have to actually zip tie your throttle at full throttle. When you're at full throttle on your multimeter you're going to want to see uh, 4.0. That is the value. That is the absolute perfect value, uh, meaning wide open throttle. Uh, I've already checked mine uh, earlier today and it was out. It was actually at 4.20, which is a, a long ways out. Uh, okay, now I'll show you how to hook everything up. Now that we're underneath the hood here, I'll show you a couple of things. We have our multimeter and then right below it here we have our power supply. And if you can see right down here on the end of the curbs, we have our throttle position sensor. If you notice, we have three wires on the top. We've got a pink one, a yellow one, and a black one. The pink one, again, is our 5 volts going in. Our yellow one is our meter that goes out to our ignition. The black, of course, is our ground. When you pull the plug off, here, we look inside. There's three little blades, and those buggers are a pain in the ass to clip onto. But we'll see if we can get them here for you. Now, again, like we said, the ground that comes from our power supply goes to the bottom. Then we have a yellow jumper wire that goes to the positive of our multimeter, whether that be the red of the multimeter, clips in the middle. And then we have our power supply, which is our red, that clips right onto the top. Here, now let's see if we got that. So, now we'll turn our multimeter on to 20 DC volts, and we'll switch our power supply on, we should get there we go, the value of 80. Now, with the throttle at idle, we want to go up full throttle and watch our multimeter. And it should go up to 4.0, and that's the optimum. There we go. We're actually 4.18, 4.19 on full throttle, and you want your optimum setting to be 4.0. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually zip tie the throttle wide open all right, so that our value stays at 418 and we're going to loosen off loosen off here our throttle position sensor and they have those stupid uh, uh, anti-tamper screws that got the little pin in the center so you got to actually buy the proper socket to get at it so and it's actually already kind of loose here so I'm going to pull that out and what we're going to do is we're actually going to rotate it and watch and we want to bring it all the way back down to 4.0 and I'm actually turning this thing quite a bit 4.3, 4.1 and that is our optimum setting so right from the factory we're actually uh, out of whack now that's going to cause, if you had perk you'd be stalling out quite a bit 
Uh, if you had uh, rough idling problems, that could be causing it. If it yeah, in mid range, you get some popping. And we'll just tighten this down. We'll snug it back into position. When you're tightening down the screws, you actually want to keep watching your uh, your multimeter. You want to make sure it stays at 4.0. You don't want it to move at all. There we go. All we got to do now is shut off your power. One thing I want to remind you guys, after you pull all your leads out, and you go ahead and you plug your sensor back in, right? There's one thing. Don't forget to cut the tie strap that is holding the throttle wide open. You don't want that. That could be dangerous. All right. There you go, guys. Setting your throttle position sensor. Nice and easy.